Welcome to the Spectra Projection Vantage UST Screen Assembly Instruction video. Get ready to enjoy a cinematic experience on your new projector screen. Please follow the guidelines on the screen's packaging and handle your screen with care throughout installation. Step 1. Prepare your workspace. Make sure to clear the area of any dirt, debris, or other objects prior to assembly. Lay out the inner and outer frame pieces in the correct position. Step 2. Assemble the inner frame. Position the black I-shaped connector of the inner frame so the screw holes line up between the horizontal frame pieces and the connector. Put in the screws and tighten with a Phillips screwdriver. Repeat this for the top and the bottom. Insert the inner L-shaped connector into the top and bottom of the vertical frames. Slide the other side of the inner L-shaped connector into the horizontal frame for all four corners so the frame forms a rectangle. Tighten all the screws after the four corners are properly aligned. Install the support bar or bars. There is one bar for screens under 100 inches and two bars for screens 100 inches and above. The inner frame is now assembled. Set it aside. Step 3. Assemble the screen. Carefully take the screen surface out of the cardboard tube and roll it out flat. Be sure not to bend or crease the surface. Doing so will cause irreparable damage to it. The black backing will be facing upward. There may be some ripples in the surface. Don't worry, the tensioning will remove these. With the help of a second person, lay the inner frame on top of the black backing of the screen surface. The screws on the frame should be facing downward. Align the corners of the frame with the screen surface. The sleeves on the screen surface should be about even all the way around. Carefully insert the tension rods into the corresponding sleeves on the back side of the screen. Starting from the corners, hook the black springs in this order. Ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, sixes, sevens, eighths. Thread the black springs through the pre-made holes in the sleeves and ensure that you hook the spring onto the tension rod. Then, using the spring hook tool, stretch the other side of the spring and hook it onto the inner frame. Connect the remaining springs. You may have extra springs left over. Make sure the surface is completely flat. If not, use the silver springs to resolve any tensioning issues. Step 4. Assemble the outer frame. Connect the horizontal pieces of the outer frame using the silver I-shaped connector. Repeat this for the top and the bottom. Slide the outer L-shaped connector into the vertical frame and screw it in place. Repeat this for the top and the bottom. Push the outer horizontal frame onto the inner horizontal frame. Make sure the seams are lined up. It should click into place. Repeat this for the top and the bottom. Slide the L-shaped connector into the outer horizontal frame and connect the outer vertical frame to the inner vertical frame. Again, it should click into place. Gently screw the corner screws after fastening the outer frame. If the corner gap is too wide, adjust 
the outer frame gap and then tighten the screws. The gap should be narrow and correctly aligned after adjusting. Step 5. Attach tension clips. After screen is assembled, attach tension clips in the marked locations. Flip the front of the screen and ensure that all four corners are flat. If any are not flat, remove the outer frame and readjust the four corner springs as well as the position of the screen fabric. The screen is now complete.